Hello YouTube and welcome to, and everyone else, welcome to a release date let's play of, of course, Europe Universalis 4. This is what I wanted to do for a while, I've been hyped for this game for forever, and I chose to do something in Tier 3 Nation, Vyanyanagar, the one no one can pronounce or spell, or people can pronounce, I'm sorry if commenters. Um, of course, the rest of the world's interesting, but we're going to be doing it. Of course, we're on Iron Man mode, so if I screw this up, and I probably will, i am only played the demo, then we'll have to just live with that. Um, that being said, we're jumping right in for a hopefully very exciting game. It's running. Um, it's asking for the um, save game. We'll be calling this... Launch, I guess. Launch LP. Whatever. So yeah, I guess you name your Iron Man saves. Whenever you quit out, it will revert to that save. It will save. You cannot just quit. Um, also, I have not played this game ever, so you will be seeing achievements for Steam go up every once in a while. Now, if those are really relevant, who knows? I don't. Um, we will turn off hints because I don't really need it. We'll just jump in and see what happens. So, to clarify our situation at the very beginning, um, we can hire. A le Let's first go. Our leader is pretty average, and our clay. Uh, yes, I have friends. They're joining. Okay, but um, our air is not that strong, with only one military. He's going to really cripple us since we get a one penalty for being in the Indian group. So, it's in our best interest. Oh, we're going to declare a reclaim mission on Richard Doab. Our first goal is to go and um, recruit our heir as a military commander. Just to meditate him. And actually, he started with Siege, which is always nice to have. So, um, opening moves. Right now, we want to um, befriend Orissa, just because... Um, they're the other major Hindu power actually in India. Well, they're the other major southern Hindu power. And, um, if we were gonna want to, if we want to take down Bahamas, we're gonna want to be, have some pretty good relationships. So, so it's probably wise actually just to start by throwing a royal marriage at them. This makes everyone happy. And we're already getting offers from other more northern states. Specifically Bastar, which is here, and Kawistar, which I have no clue where that is. We won't be oh, here it is. We won't be accepting either just because we wanna focus on taking down Bahamas, which is our greatest enemy. But before then, we have some uh, even more things to take care of. Um, we do have a little bit of overextension from, from Malva Malvana, which is right here. So we'll go throw a make core at it. And, um, of course, now we're out of administrative work. And also, our goal is to found um, Hindustan in the end. So, we need to. We only control three of the provinces needed. Now, we're going to have to take over pretty much all of um, southern India, including these three miners. We'll also have to deal with Cylon, which is a heretic Buddhist, which should be fun. Um, ah, keep it paused. Oh, yeah. So see, we got, just got the royal marriage achievement. Um, we still need to um, take care of a few other things. Now, military-wise, if we look at it, um, we have a force limit of 14. And we're going to want to push it to that level. We're making some money already. And we really don't want um, to lose... I'm sorry. We really want to make some money to compete in the long run. 
So, um, it's an... I'm sorry, to make an army to compete. Wow, I am sounding really dumb today. I apologize. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter the production menu right here, and we're going to build, I think, four cavalry units. Um, should do the trick. We're, of course, since we're not going to war immediately, it's actually a pretty smart idea. However, we don't have the money to build all four, so I guess we'll wait for, I think, two months worth of income. Meanwhile, we'll continue um, pursuing um, a relationship, which they would accept, actually. Um, looks like we can't form an actual... Um, opinion of them yet? So, even if... Eh, here, let's speed up to speed 3. Okay, we're back from Marissa. Um, it looks like our negative um, opinion of them means we cannot actually do anything. So, um, that will disappear in around four years, five years. But other than that, we're just stuck with what we have. But that's good. Um, we could try um, improving relations, which I will do. Just because um, it, if we can um, pull off anything then it's going to be free via that. Because with Orissa, we'll be able to um, easily march in. Um, let me modify this for a second. I don't want to know about um, my... Um, don't want to know. Disabled alerts. Um, I don't need to know merchants since I um, will know whenever I do something. I don't want to know about ships and construction, missionaries I don't really need to know, culture and coring I don't really need to know, colonies we won't have to deal with for a while. Okay, and we'll keep an eye out um, via armies. Um, I don't know how big uh, and strong uh, up here is, all I know is that we're the major hope for Hinduism, it's on us. Um, to clarify some other things, right now we are in a really powerful trade node, um, which is the Cylon trade node. Um, we control around 50% of the trade there, and we make as a profit trade-wise around one doll, one ducat per uh, month. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more or than that. So yeah, and we can interact with three trade nodes, Cylon, Bengal, and Indus. Um, which we really actually won't be doing much of interference with. Um, right now it's quite favorable. What we do want to do is um, send someone to um, send a light ship to the um, Bengal trade node to pull some more money forward for us to collect. Since you already had the ships for it, it's pretty much uh, free. Looks like we're gonna have to wait one more month before we um, can build that last Calvary. Then, no clue why it's not letting me build it. Oh well. So yeah, we got three of our Calvary. We'll put it in um, our capital. Our goal is, of course, to take Richard Doab, but we need first to trust, and we do enough. No, it's gonna take. A few more years, unfortunately, even with it, just because. You have a causes belly on him? Wait a minute. Okay, so we actually have a claim on um, Orissa, which we'll probably enforce once um, we've weakened the Muslims somewhat. Okay. So. We're going to put off the war, for, of course, for a little bit, um, and in exchange what we'll do is we'll do a stalling, we'll, um, yeah, just do nothing. We can build up some points, points and um, turn down our budget um, for our army, so we're earning some more serious money for the actual war. 
course, we're not earning score yet, but that will come. Until then, let's just start improving it. And well, probably what we'll end up doing is vassalizing um, Orisa. They're very valuable as a separate entity to us. And look, if we see this, we they have an army of six. Combined with our army of 13, that's almost... That's 20,000 troops right there against them. I mean, we have to keep an eye on Bahamas because they're going to be um, trying to ally with people. And indeed, they're working to um, make some friends. So if we want to go to war with them, we're going to... When we do go to war, I should say, we're going to want to take a few provinces. I'm thinking Desh, Bijapur, um, Richard Doab, and maybe even Bidar. Just because it prevents us from expanding and making um, Orisa a more strained relationship, but it also um, effectively will wipe out his authority. Um, our cash is doing well. Hey Orisa, want to improve relationships with me? Yeah, and that's unfortunate that they're not going to do it, but it's something to think about. Um, the thing is, without Orsa, I don't know how well we do against um, Bahamas. Yeah, I'm sorry if I pronounce it weird. Um, I, of course, do not speak Indian, um, so I can't um, get any of these names right. I hope it's Indian as well. Um, of course, our trade efforts are starting to bring a lot more cash in over here from Bengal. Um, around 50, like half a ducat more, which is quite a little bit. Um, yeah, so now we're earning about one and a fifth ducats. We're offered one from Bestar again. Now, while I rejected the first one... I think I'm actually going to accept it, just because, um, if I'm right, Bistar has peasants. Uh, well, we'll go save them. Oh, yeah. That's right. Um, we'll go and petition, um, military access from Morissa. Not only will this give us a place for our armies to retreat if, um, it gets a little iffy, but, yeah. Oh, it looks like we actually have people supporting us, but fortunately enough. Um, so we're going to end up with a free province, and yeah, I think um, if they're successful, then it's a very wise option for us to go and um, vassalize them, because that's it's three provinces. We won't court for a while. Yeah, we'll accept the royal marriage. Because um, we need uh, the diplomatic influence. If I look at our diplomatic relations, we are maintaining three. Um, if I let me go check on what those are, I believe I have to go to my actual power or diplomats, maybe. Um, I guess if we look at us by right clicking, um, yeah. So Bahamas, um, if we do, when we do win, we invade Bahamas. Richard Doab is one of our cores, so we'll um, be able to take that and without overextension. But all our administrative power will go for more. Um, I'm just going to say this now. Go, go, rebels. Don't assault the fort. Just siege it out and earn me that free province, please. Because that would be quite convenient. Of course, I have no clue what's going on outside of India, um, and once we go discussing ideas a little bit, I'll um, expand on that. But, since we're not doing that at the moment, um, Bastar, I don't know if they have any manpower. Um, if I go check the ledger um, for them, maybe I could find out. 
I don't even know if it shows current man power. Oh, I forgot to go over religion completely. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm not finding it. So, here, let's go over religion. Hindu has no special mechanics. The major thing is that, uh, well, no, their special mechanic is that they um, are one of the few people which um, will have no, can tolerate heretics completely within their nation due to their tolerance. They also get a little bit more national tax to help, but tolerance of heretics means that um, in the in a longer term future, we can look to become a general regional power in the Buddhist states if we survive the Shia states. Um, I guess the other good thing is that um, the states are pretty split up. While a bunch of the, the, the states are Shia, we have um, Malwa and Kandesh are Sunni, along with the northern um, Hindu state, the northern Islamic states. So we only really have to worry about them um, allying with Gurajat in the short term. Okay, yeah, and see, Bastar has uh, one troop. Unfortunately for Bastar, there'll probably be a next to just because I don't want to kill. That was, goes, that was the war of me acquiring the province. Not happening. Okay. Um, again, I'm always hopeful to get um, free provinces like that, especially since Orisa won't spend time fighting them, and I won't spend time fighting them. Okay, we get some more money on hand. Um, we're going to get a nice, safe reserve around, of around 150, because I do want to wait for Orisa uh, um, as an alliance, just as a safe thing. And they will accept an alliance. Um, they love us. Um, so we'll go enter alliance with them. So nice. And I guess that was it was the military access that did that. But um, I guess we're all ecstatic. But now we have no reason to be peaceful with um, Bahamas anymore. We have um, a significant amount of troops. We'll start sieging Richard Doab. And if we can wipe out their army, then all the better. We'll call all willing allies to take our core in Richard Doab. And, um... Let's go to war. Um, we have low army maintenance. I should have thought about that ahead of time. Oh well, um... We'll just be optimistic that, um, the, our, the Muslims don't have much. And, of course, they may not be converting at the moment, which would be very valuable. Okay, there's the army. Um, actually, I realized we forgot to attach our leader. Um, Richard Doat, he's completely alone in this war. So this is really a, just a quick smash and grab. Um, but we want to take out the enemy army. Um, since our ally can pretty much handle that, um, taking care of Delgana, and if we kill the army, we can um, carpet siege um, five of his provinces. Yeah. Um, our diplomatic power, fortunately, is still pretty powerful. So, due to um, our good, good diplomacy. So, we should be able to take all the provinces we want. Um, fortunately, we are much bigger. Granted, we're also taking more casualties because of a bad roll. But, um... If we just rolled slightly better, we should be able to wipe out their army and um, start carpet siege. So, just as a quick thing, um, we took uh, two in war exhaustion, which is really, really bad. Um, especially for us, since um, we don't have diplomacy. Um, we'll just have to take it, um, because the alternative is spending some valuable diplomacy points. Um... We're going to go start sieging our, the province we're fighting for, uh, because the they're effectively not a threat anymore. Oh, that's funny. If you look at, at or I think Orissa has Gurajat, they called it. See, we have the benefit of an of a coalition, which will detach a siege. Um, wow, that's literally all our infantry. Wow. No, it's just, um, like, 
the infantry that got left uh, couldn't have too little morale. Okay. We're going to ignore him just because we can't give up any power. And that's our major limiter, is the fact that we cannot give up a single inch of power. Um, we'll select the third army to rejoin um, with our main forces. And there's um, their armies. Um, actually, we probably want to siege this province because they have a missionary in. And every province we can take, we can prevent from um, facing missionaries, is a valuable province indeed. So what we'll do is we'll actually okay unite all the armies here. Select army. We're going to detach one army, um, and we'll keep holding the siege. And yeah, see like that. We'll um, move troops to prevent them from interfering. And now they got reinforcements. Oh, is our leader down here? No. What happened to our leader? Did, was I lucky? Did my heir die? Am I my heir? Oh my... I'm my heir. Oh god. Wow. Um, yeah, I had no clue. We were so lucky. Um, looks like it's... Ac Wait, no, that's him. Um... A few. I was worried there for a moment. Um, we're just gonna move our army down. Um, here. And they have nationalists, too. And as we start winning sieges, we'll be able to counter his forces here, for example. So these are, um, Ahmed Nagari nationalists. Please tell me I got that right. Um, and... They're just one of the many people that are hate the fact that they have to deal with it. Now, um, in B Bidar, it only has a level 2 fort, which I believe we only need two people to siege. Do we need three? Okay, we need three. So, um, unfortunately, until our reinforcements actually get sent, we won't see much. And actually, we're still making a profit, which is how I like to fight a war. Because the more money we make, the happier I am. Yeah. So our goal is to smash them and release some more Hindu buffer states um, to get them more hated. By um, So we can focus on um, unifying the South. Um, we're going to move um, the cavalry down here. So, um, we can then, uh, launch an assault against their forces. I'm sorry, I'm just checking. You guys are completely horrible at- Oh wait, no, that's good, actually. Never mind. Come on, you can take the province. I won't complain. You guys- You guys are all cool. I- Honestly. I'm being sincere. I love my heart. So... Who's my heir? Do I have an heir? Do I have a mill? Oh yeah, so see, my heir, some, for some reason, decided he didn't want to be a general anymore, so we left the army. Yeah, and all of us are hurt pretty hard. I mean, we have Gal Con Galcondon nationalists, which will want to fight. But um, first, we're going to give um, a good drubbing to the Bahamas uh, forces. Um, it's just one of the things we want to do now. Um, one, to protect our core creation and what we spent on it. Um, actually, that's pretty much the primary reason. Um, also, to protect um, other various things. things. Fortunately, we got an insanely strong roll compared to theirs early on, so we killed a lot of their troops. However, their, general, their leader may be bad, but he's better at fighting wars by a long shot. Okay, so we're going to start um, sieging Dash, and if we look, if we stick strictly to the war goal, we'd be alright, because it's only seven, um, 
However, we don't want just a uh, set. We're gonna get a little greedy here. Because the alternative is us not taking provinces. And um, them being strong and stable northern Muslims. Um, now, we um, forced them to retreat again in that case. Um, and, and, and I believe they're actually down for the count if we hit them again. So we're going to make an attempt, simply because, hey, if it works, um, we've wiped out their regiments. And they may be already out of troops. They may not be able to recover. Um, unfortunately, while this is much better ground for us, they are just have a much better general than ours. However, we still win and deal a thousand more troops in, of da in damage. We'll pursue, even if it, we're killing our forces heavily, for it, but um, anything if we get rid of that forces, we can siege with impunity. Um, yeah, so the casualties are looking pretty good, to be honest. So we can de actually detach a siege, and we only need 2,000 actually, which is good. We can reinforce um, the ailing um, second army. Which um, always helps, and what do you know? They're dead. Um, that's why we wanted to stay on them, because now um, we can carpet siege them and just watch the fireworks. Um, looks like our ally, unfortunately, will soon um, have to surrender to Rebel. Well, he still has one more province to go, but um, we'll have a lot more Hindu states to work against. Um, of course, now we can now focus on um, reinforcing our forces, and we can hopefully see um, because Orissa, we don't want to take um, the tele defeat the Telugu Patriot um, siege. We want that now for ourselves, even though it's not good for the nation in the long run. Well, it is for us, but not for Orissa, which you want to vassalize. Um, we actually have Telugu Patriots fighting for even more stuff to go to me, I think. No. I can't tell. Actually... Um, that was actually um, what happened to our Patriots down here. Um, they're, I believe, the ones winning. Yes. And they're um, sieging a, that province from um, our allies. So once we take all of these provinces, we're going to want to, um, of course, the nationalists um, manage to do that. We'll send some reinforcements just to make sure the nationalists there lose, because we want these four provinces. It's a core part of our strategy. Um, fortunately, we don't take that much losses, and we get some nice military tradition, which will improve our generals down the line. Currently, and it will improve our, um, man our manpower recovery rate, which we only recover 109 people per month, so it's a good deal. Yeah, so it looks like, um, Orissa's focusing on, um, making gains and um that meanwhile we've almost completely taken over um bahamas in terms of occupation um we're receiving aid from hindu zealots which is always nice um though they're causing us some um, attrition damage um they're fighting for um the one true faith or at least what they um uh, our true faith um and we need to really just see long, looking long term. We um, and now things have cha will change. With Bahamas pretty much a non-entity, it's going to be me and Orissa competing. So all that stuff on uh, our cooperation was only for this one war. After it, we did not need them because not only do we have four more provinces, but um, they carry a lot of the stuff for free cores on all of India, which we want. We just need to take this last province and we'll make peace with them.
Um, what can I say? It's a complete mess in their nation. Um, if we look religiously, they literally failed to convert even one province. Which is good for us speed-wise, because then we can start coring immediately the three provinces we don't have cored. And we can say goodbye to our administrative power again. Um, hence why, because of avoiding overextension, we will be um, losing a lot of our administrative. While um, we'll see diplomatic and military go up gradually. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it. It's a very picky on this subject. Um, we have the Amagari uh, Nationalists um, in Marathwada. And that is good for them. Um, we took Dash, which is nice. So um, now we'll go and make our demands. Um, it may be out. We actually cannot take Vidar since it is their um, capital. But we can do this, we can demand all the cash they happen to have laying around, which um, we can then use, which we can use, of course. And we can also um, tell, revoke their cores on um, my province. And actually, how much are they willing to offer? They're willing to offer what? A, a little bit more? Um, so let's just see how much we can pressure. Okay, so that's really all we're interested in. Nope, they won't give that up. So we've taken um, 89 um, stuff. So um, enforce it. We got three new provinces. Um, cut 10 prestige. We lost reconquest, unfortunately, so we're going to have to spread stuff. Um, Vinad. Who's Vinad? Is it? Um, oh. Yeah, we'll be taking, um... We'll be, um, taking all the military stuff. Gives us free cause of spellies. And it's stuff we're gonna be doing anyway. Um, these three are actually a threat to, uh, our coastal. And we want to dominate our train mode. Um, we've taken a lot more. We actually got quite a bit more influence. And the only reason Gurjat is more powerful than us is because they're using their shipping fleet, which um, we have um, in Bengal. So, um, I think that's good enough to call it for an episode. Um, join us next time as we um, start working on crushing the miners and pouring. <laughs>